timber and that sort of thing and the last three four years we've been doing coffee for the local growers around here in KZN um, under Dylan's guidance to improve that um, so these this is sort of a finishing area this is not a starting area so we grow coffee doesn't grow very quickly it's one of the slowest things we grow so it takes about four months to get to sort of that size which we'll produce in seedling trays and beds in plastic tunnels so like in warm areas hey eh? so that we can control the temperature and then we'll take it outside and harden it to the last sort of stage of growth so some of these have been burnt by cold because they've just come out of a plastic tunnel a month ago and they hit the first winter and the leaves go crispy but then they sort of harden and get into a green form later so there's different stages here um, so yeah basically this is not the starting point this is the right at the end point it's in the full sun and um, they will go to field in two months time from here was actually gift from the nursery that got me involved. He had some plants and he said to me this is the next best thing in the area. So um, we supplied these plants. It's our first block that we planted in 2022 um, and from there we kind of well we planted now we need to carry on. So we planted the rest of this area up on the other sugar cane and we're busy with another block at the bottom of about eight hectares that should be in the ground by the end of the year. Um, Yes, we bought, we planted Catamore F6 here. It's, it's, a, it's a learning curve, so varieties, spacing, um, irrigation, shade, all of these things are so new, so it's all trial and error. Um, you'll see at the top that we've even planted um, sugarcane in between them to give them a bit of shade to see see what that does. Um, yeah, so it's all we planted at the moment. We've got Catamore here. We planted some SL28. We've got some Catian and Batian try the different ones see see what grows best here this is the first harvest um, this year it's very small it mainly came from this this block here the coffee that you had this morning there at the nursery was actually the first coffee I've ever tasted from here so that is that's what <laughs> Uh, just to give you a bit of background on this, this field, this is uh, called Stienberg Estate. It was the second plantings um, of this, this time, this era. This was planted in 2020. Um, the other thing you'll notice here is that there's also macadamia trees intercropped. So you'll see that each uh, macadamia row has uh, a, two, a coffee row on either side. So part of the um, the idea here is to show it with the farmers that if you plant macadamias and coffee together that while the, the macadamias haven't produced it, typically it can take six to eight years, you get a coffee in that interim period um, if, so that you have a, an income during that time. It's the same what we're looking at at rural farmers. We're looking to intercrop not macadamias but maize um, and other food security crops. So if you did drink uh, coffee in Vida uh, in January, December, January this last year, it came out of this field predominantly. Wow, that's so cool. Actually, if you, if you drive probably five minutes down this road, you will find the remnants of the original um, Patel Coffee Growers Association's mill. It was probably closed down in the 80s. Um, even uh, even though it's been burnt down, but um, even on the electrical boxes, you'll see pulper. Um, it was the end of the era that was began in the late 1960s. So coffee, historically, if you, if you speak to the community here, you, you, they will tell stories of their parents or grandparents that were growing coffee in this area. So out of those conversations, there was two people, or two families, um, the Pearsons, this is not, this is the name of the street, not but they also happen to be um, <laughs> Pearsons. The Pearsons and the Bombers. Um, I think, I, 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 maybe Duncan will arrive just now, but 
I, I imagine the story you will see there stuck. They were drinking beers, looking at the empty garden and thinking what to do and thought, why don't we try coffee? So when we go <laughs> through there, you'll actually see the original 350, I think there's 350, 400 trees. It was planted in 2018. And that, this is the place where it all began out of. This is where the, the kind of proof of concept started. Oh, <laughs> my